here, you simply just need to make the design changes that you would like. You can do that by going through each one of the sections. As you'll see, these link to different collection lists that we're going to need to update with our own products. We're gonna take care of that in a second, but I wanted to walk you through all of these different sections so that you're sure you are adjusting things, putting in your own content and swapping out what you would like. Now, if for instance, you didn't particularly want this navigation, you wanted it maybe in the center, you can of course come back over to your pages, come over to navigation and look at these different nav styles. So you can see this is the one they're using here, nav bar one, but you could certainly swap out for this nav bar two, three, or even four. Perhaps you like this one better. You can go ahead and on here, hit command C, come back over to your store, come to your body and hit command V. Now you'll see it drops it at the bottom, but you can go ahead and put that up here at the top. Take out your nav bar here and now everything has been replaced. Now if this notification doesn't make sense, you can go ahead and delete that out if you'd like it and you don't need this extra promo link, you can delete that. As you can see, there's lots of different changes you can make. So go ahead and make those adjustments, working your way down through. And we're just looking at style right now. We're not going to update our product list just yet. So once you have gotten everything styled the way you would like it and you need to change the text to be your particular font, you're ready to come over to your style guide. You could certainly do this first if you have your styles already set out, but here is where you would like to make all of the changes to your fonts. So from here for your different headings, you just wanna be sure you come over and have the headings selected and here under font, typography and font, you can go ahead and change it to whatever font you would like. And as you can see, it will update accordingly. Working down through, you go to H2 and continue on. This is where you want to make all of your changes so that all of your fonts, buttons, everything on this template colors will now become what your style is. So if you don't like this particular red, just go ahead and change the color here. Be sure you're updating with the correct hex codes so that anyone who might use this template will also be able to know. So go ahead and make those changes as well. And once you have all of that done, we're ready to move on to setting this up to be an e-commerce site and going through all of these additional steps. Mm -hmm. 